Good evening everybody, it's Charlie and welcome back to another video on the Chatting Leeds YouTube channel. Hope everyone's doing okay today as always. It's the day before the game guys, which we all know what that means. It's time for your match preview ahead of Peterborough against Leeds United tomorrow afternoon in the third round of the FA Cup. Just before we get into it in more detail guys, make sure you're smashing that like button. It really does help get the video out there to more people. Please subscribe if you are brand new. Hit the notification bell so that you're always aware of when I'm uploading and going live. And of course, get all of your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. So yeah, third round of the FA Cup. Of course, the game is away. It's always away in the Cup with Leeds. 13 consecutive away ties for Leeds United in the FA Cup, which is a record. Um, Peterborough, a very decent team in League One, having a good campaign. At the minute, um, I believe they're in the playoff places in League One um, as we speak. So, you know, having a good season by by all accounts. And uh, all that being said, though, it, it, it this obviously should be a Leeds United win comfortably, very comfortably. Um, however, something tells me that with Leeds United, whatever the outcome of this game is tomorrow, that it will not be comfortable. Um I don't want a replay. I really cannot be bothered with a replay. Obviously, if a replay happens, I'll probably end up going to it. But in terms of, you know, the amount of games that are coming quick and fast and, and everything like that, do Leeds United really need a replay at this moment in time? Probably not. So it sounds daft, but even if we lose the game tomorrow, at least we can just focus on the league then and... We don't need to worry about a replay or, or anything like that. Would I like a cup run? Mm, again, I'm I'm not too fussed. Obviously, I like Leeds United to win games and, you know, a win tomorrow could maybe help with a bit of momentum in the league after we beat Birmingham 3-0. It would be a nice result to take us into Cardiff away next week in the league. Um, but if we lose, yeah, it's a bit crap at first and you're a bit embarrassed because it's a team in League One. But then when you sit back and put it into perspective, it's probably more important that we focus on the league anyway and trying to bridge that gap between us and the top two. Um, but yeah, look, in, in, in terms of Peterborough, I'm not going to sit here and say that I know who their main threats are, anything about the style of play, because I don't. I don't watch League One, obviously. Um, but like I said, they're in the playoff places, so they're obviously having a good season. Um, but it's up to Leeds United to go there and really, you know, stamp some authority and show them who's boss. Um, you know, even with a weakened team, Leeds should be going there and easily beating Peterborough at ease, really. Um, I do think Farker will make a few changes, but... Don't be surprised if there is still quite a few first-teamers in this starting eleven because I think Farker likes the Cup. Um, you know, I think he took Norwich to the quarter-final one year. So, you know, he may want a Cup run himself. But us fans are probably more focused on trying to get promoted again. Um, but like I say, I think there'll be a few changes. I think a few players could come in. Um, I think he'll probably start Matteo Joseph. Um, could start Joe Gellar as well. Oh, no way, he's injured, isn't he? Um, so, Matteo Joseph, Paveda could come in. Um, apparently, Cooper's a doubt, and obviously, Strike's not going to be risked. So, does that mean Ampadu's going to slot back to centre half um, alongside Charlie Cresswell or, or, or someone like that? And are, are we going to see Archie Gray and Gruev maybe in midfield with Anthony Nonto on the wings, give James and Somerville a rest? Maybe Pat Bamford could retain his place as well. Um, Shackleton could come in. So, you know, there are a few names that, you know, could feature. Um, but, yeah, look, like I said, guys, this this game should be and will hopefully be a win. And a win that continues the winning momentum going into Cardiff next week. As always is the case with Leeds United, I don't think it'll be a comfortable win, even though it should be. Um, the, the score prediction that I'm going to go with, I, I think we're going to concede. I'm going to go 2-1. I'm going to go 2-1 Leeds. I, I think it'll be that tight in terms of a scoreline, which, again, it shouldn't be at all. Like This is a 
come on, guys, this this is a game Leeds United should be going and winning. Um, we should not be sat here as Leeds fans being wary of Peterborough who are in League One, but because things like this have happened to us before, I'm thinking Sutton, I'm thinking Histon, I'm thinking Salford earlier on in the season in the Carabao Cup, you know. It wouldn't be a shock if Leeds United lost this game at all. It'd be annoying and frustrating, but it wouldn't be shock at all. So, yeah, like I said, guys, I'm going with a 2-1 win. I think in terms of a predicted 11, I'll go class and in goal. Um, I think Shackleton comes in and plays right back. I'm going to go uh, Cresswell and Ampadu in centre-halves. Left back. Oh. Or could Ampadu go left back and maybe Cresswell and Rodon? Yeah, we'll say that. Cresswell and Rodon. Ampadu maybe at left back. Because I said By Byron, but then there's Furpo. Yeah, probably Furpo, actually. We'll go We'll go Shackleton, Cresswell, Ampadu, Furpo. Then we'll go Archie Gray and Gruev in the double pivot. Jaden Anthony. Pat Bamford and Nonto and Matteo Joseph up top. That is my um, my predicted 11 for this game. And as I said, I am going with a 2-1 victory in this one, guys. Sorry that it's short and sweet, but there's not really a lot more to go into. this. As I've said numerous times on this video, this should be a comfortable and easy win for Leeds United. But I am still going with a 2-1 victory and hopefully we'll progress into the next round of the FA Cup and see if we can get a Premier League team this time, at home preferably. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, guys, make sure that you're smashing that like button. It really does help get the video out there. Please subscribe if you are brand new. Hit the notification bell and, of course, get all of your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. And I will we'll be back tomorrow afternoon after the game with my match review. I'll see you then. Enjoy the rest of your night and I will see you tomorrow. Cheers.